cutting on the Loxahatchee River in Jupiter, Florida. Got the boat all loaded down, the crab trap strapped on. All right, just about ready to go. Just need to prep the bait and head out there. Here's my bait, silver mullet, caught with the castanet on the Loxahatchee River. Sometimes I'll use sardines or chicken, but I've found that mullet do work the best, so it's since they're the most prevalent source of food for the crabs that's out there on the river. All right, let's cut these guys up and get them ready for the traps. Now to prep the fish, these are actually some really good sized mullet. Normally I don't get them this big, so probably really only need one a trap, even maybe not even a whole one, but normally if I get the smaller ones, you know, I'll do two, three, four trap. But you just want to either flay them or just slice them open, get them nice and bloody, uh, just to give that scent to the fish. They're all ready to put in the traps. Now let's head out there. Out here on the water. Now let's get these traps in, let them soak for about uh, one day and see what we got. traps are out have them all marked on my Navionics app come back and pick them up tomorrow now time for a little fishing just driving out here to the sandbar to get some more bait for crabs and notice this big guy flopping on the beach here must have chased some uh, bait up onto the shore it's a good sized barracuda see if I could uh, revive him Looks like he'll be fine. Looks like he's getting about ready to take off. There he goes. Here, got the first trap pulled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crabs, including 
At least one female has to go back with eggs and a stone crab that has claws that are too small. All right, hopefully the other traps are like this too. females with eggs so these guys are pretty much all going back four of them Right, trap number four a bunch of catfish jumbo size blue crab and two good size uh, stone crabs looks like maybe there's one keeper claw but I don't have a measure so I'm just gonna let those guys too so looks like I got two good keeper uh, blue crabs though all right got dinner okay got everything loaded back on Time to go back in and prep these guys to cook for dinner. All loaded up, ready to head back and wash down. Hey Manny, what do you think of those crabs? I like them. You like them? Yeah. Do you want to eat them? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, keep going. Get the sides too. Yeah. All right, this is what I ended up with, seven big males. I let go of all the females. And now I am just gonna ice these guys up to kill them in an ethical way. And then I'm gonna clean them prior to cooking them. Got a nice male crab here. We're gonna clean it up before we cook it. Makes it way easier when, uh, you know, you got a bunch of people that don't know what they're doing, eating the crabs, uh, makes a lot less mess. So I guess you'd call this Florida style. So we're just gonna grab it by the back swimmerette here, pop the shell off, clean out the lungs or the gills. That's not edible, both sides. Then try to remove as much as you can of the non-edible stuff. I'm gonna pop the back apron off. And then give it a quick rinse off. Get everything else out. clean crab to season up and throw in the steamer. Okay, I'm just gonna season these guys up with some seafood magic. Don't need too much since they're already cleaned. All right, they're good to go. Just gonna steam them. Add a little bit of um, white vinegar. It should be good. We're gonna 
gonna throw them in. Now we're just gonna throw them in the pot, get it steaming good. Just a few minutes until they turn red, and then they're good to go. Lid on. Check back in a few minutes. All right, there you have it. Crabs are ready. Time to eat.